Hi there crafters, it's Louise with you and I am sharing my first scrapbook layout process video on behalf of Mystical Scrapbooks DT. So this is for the Cybercrop Challenge mid-month and I created a little Grab 5 challenge inspired by the fabulous Inky Quill. So I'm going to take some um, thickers, flowers, a 6x6 paper pad, a stencil and an um, distress ink. And what I'm going to do is is um, show you a couple of techniques and some fun ways that we can use these particular products to create the layout that's my inspiration for this challenge. So firstly I'm taking ordinary old texture paste and applying it onto my craft mat. Now my texture paste is in that little extra container purely just because it has a crack in it. You don't need to keep it in an extra container but for me I keep it in there so it doesn't dry out. Now what I'm doing is just mixing the texture paste with the Distress Ink to give it a little bit of colour. And you can see that it's got that blue sort of tinge to it. And it didn't need to be too blue because I didn't want actual blue paste. But I did want um, that texture paste to have a little bit of colour. I'm going to apply it through this script stencil onto the glitter cardstock background and I find this just helps to um, add a little bit of extra interest and you can see I haven't been particular about it so I haven't made it um, cover the whole thing I haven't used all of the script words I just wanted a little bit of interest in the background now this 6x6 six six paper pad is actually the Christmas edition but what I wanted to do was show you that you can actually use these products in non-Christmas type layouts. So I've pulled out some of the papers and I am just cutting them all at random shapes. So nothing that's really tricky here but what I'm going to do is create a um, um, an area of interest behind my photo. So all I'm doing here is just playing around with those papers until I can build this cluster in the background. Now sometimes I stick it with adhesive and sometimes I stick it or attach it with my stapler and then what I'm also going to do is add some cardboard in the background. So this is just ordinary old um, packaging cardboard that um, you know the 12 by 12 pizza boxes that we get with our products so I just cut them up and use them in the backing of my layers. So um, in terms of what this uh, comes out like it's really um, different each time I do it. There's no structure, it's purely just whatever you look at that you like um, is the way it turns out to be. So it doesn't have to be difficult and you can do as much or as little as you please but what I like to get is just a nice balance of papers to actually um, create something around the photo and this what it does is it helps lift the photo from the mixed media and the background so you get to um, really highlight the photo in your layout but also you get the interesting part of the background as well so um once that's all done and stuck together, I am going to add just a little bit of doily interest in the background. And I don't want this to be the focus, but again, because it's a very square, um, sort of no rounded edges cluster, I want to add that doily just to break that up a little bit. Now I'm going to also add some of these um, pretty little white flowers and I didn't actually have monochrome in mind when I was creating this layout, but that's sort of how it turned out. It's got that really blue um, sort of background, but then it's also got the um, black and white sort of elements on the actual layout. Now, I decided that I needed a border. For some reason, when I'm creating, I like to have borders on my layout. So in this case, I needed a border and I'm using washi tape, which is just torn down the middle. And I'm going to glue it because the washi tape doesn't stick very well to the glitter cardstock. So um, what I've done is just use ordinary old tacky glue and off camera glued that border onto the actual glitter cardstock. Now these are just some um, little elements from my uh, stash. So a couple of little cutouts, they're from an older Kazercraft collection 
And I'm having a little bit of trouble with the title because as you can see, I've used these thickers quite a bit and um, I didn't have enough letters to make Turning Seven or any of the titles that I wanted to do. So I ended up making the title Seven Today. And those thickers, again, I am gluing them down with tacky glue. Same with these little diamantes, making sure that they're going to stick onto the layout for the long term. So that's my uh, Grab 5 inspiration for you today. I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please hit that little subscribe button.